Welcome to Texas! He's a 10. I choose this family. Hey guys, and welcome to episode 79 of 911 Lone Star Roundup. I'm one of your hosts, EJ, and with me today are my lovely co-hosts, Katie. Hey guys. And Grace. Hi, everyone. Today we're going to be looking back on season one through three with our Tarlos rankings. Um, we're going to be ranking our top three scenes from each season in a top nine. And it's going to be slightly different for each one of us because some of us had a few um, different ones. But if you've been following along, you can always go back and listen to any of those rankings and hear what our other top however many we did in each episode. Yeah. The good thing is right now there's only three seasons so there's only nine right now but i can't wait till season four because i know <laughs> yeah. we're gonna have a ton <laughs> oh my god yeah it, like literally <laughs> so it's probably a good thing that we're doing this now after season three <laughs> mm-hmm. oh yeah it would be yeah, fun definitely. to do later and even do even more but yeah it's right. fun to do just like the top three yeah and we i can't get enough tarlos so i love talking tarlos <laughs> oh, <laughs> literally <yeah. laughs> right all right, so let's, all the tarlos. Yeah, so all right, so let's get started. Um, our number nine, I'm just gonna say it now. Like it does not just because we're ranking it nine does not mean we hate it. It's like these are all amazing episodes and scenes. So yeah, just yeah, this is a hard that. ranking sometimes. Yeah, yeah, honestly. So mine for nine was the pre-game night. That was in 211. I'm like, the reason why I put it this here is because when I was looking at my list, I was like, okay, I remember this one less. Like, don't really remember. Like, I remember, like, the con- somewhat of the context of it. And I remember some of the things in that. This is, like, the Carlos Cow I scene. Mm-hmm. Um, that's, like, the only thing that I really remember about that. And I was like, okay, right. if anything has to be at the bottom of the list, I think it's going to have to be this one <laughs> because yeah. I don't really remember too much about it. I honestly haven't rewatched past like season two in such a long time. So I just don't remember it. But like, it's still a great scene, obviously. Don't really have to go into that. But right. it's, just, it's just where we're at. And Grace? Uh, so for mine, it was the hug scene from uh, season one, episode 10. Um, so right before the car scene, um, mm. when they hug at the fire station. For me, it's not ranked as a low one at all. Really? For me, this is ranking all high ones. It's just this one just didn't top so many of the other ones for me. Like, it's such a sweet moment between TK and Carlos, but just didn't top everything else for me. Right. I get you. Um, for me, I said the 208 scene where Tarlos are holding on to each other right after they rescued TK, Nancy, and Tommy. The high baby, high babe scene. It was amazing. It was good. But I just think there's several other scenes on this list that are a lot higher. <laughs> yeah, honestly, if I got that, I would have been like, what the hell is that? Because honestly, when you said that, I was thinking, wait, what are we referring to? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Number eight. Oh, so mine is the hug scene. Um, I remember when this first happened, I was just like melting at this moment because like, I don't know, it was just it was great. Uh, But like now with so many other like great scenes along with this one this is just where i put it and i love it but like i just oh my god i remember when this first happened and i was just like that was like the scene that would i would just like look back on so often but like it's great but you know it's here right we've gotten so many seasons worth of content now and we're only um we're only three seasons in like we haven't even gotten season four yet Right, right. Uh, so for me, it's actually uh, Charles holding each other in 2 8, um, as EJ had said before. And I just, uh, I, I just love this scene, like the tenderness, the emotion of it. Mm-hmm. Again, it didn't top everything else, but um, I'm sure we raved plenty enough when that scene <laughs> first came out. <laughs> and it, it's still a top 10. And I agreed. Um, so for me, my number eight is the 204 makeup scene where uh, TK comes over to Carlos's before they're living together and 
they have their conversation and make up after all that. I think the episode's title was friends with benefits. It's the one Mm -hmm. where Carlos introduced TK as his friend. Yeah. (laughs) Friend from work. Yeah. Um, No, again, another amazing scene had great growth for both of them in that scene. Um, It was great to see more of um, Carlos's backstory and revolving his coming out, but it just, yeah, just landed here because again, we have some amazing Tarlos ones coming up that <laughs> um, are just higher ranking for me. All right, so how about number seven? So seven, at mine is actually the same thing, scene the Tarlos makeup at two hundred four. Um, <laughs> that episode, like, I don't know, that's the episode still like stands out to me, but like, I don't know because there's like other scenes also like this where yeah. I rank those a little bit higher. Mm-hmm. Um. And stuff, but for me, I was just like, okay, I love the scene, but there's like just so many I like more. I don't know, I just do, and it's it's great, but like there's just other ones that happened more recently that I actually like a lot more. Uh, for me, it's the car scene from one ten. Um, I <laughs> just like uh, someone else was saying with a scene. Um, remember when it happened? Like it was, it was the Tarlos scene, right? And it stayed the Tarlos scene for for a little bit. Um, and it was really good. Um, but it just, it just, it, it lands here because so many others easily moved in for me. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like maybe actually the Carson got a little overplayed as like the best Tarlos scene, so maybe it lost a little bit of its specialness for me. But um, overall, great, great scene. Um, and that's yeah. definitely why it makes it to this list. <laughs> right. I mean, it, and it was like, it was season one. We had a huge gap in time between the next season. So I know a lot of people, me included, watched it a lot. So I can understand yeah. <laughs> that. And for me, my number seven is the loft scene in 304, where TK seeing the loft fully finished for the first time um, after he's woken up from um the coma and you know off screen resolved things with tarlos or with carlos um that was really sweet uh, it's the dawning of tk realizing that you know he wants to be with carlos and you know again great scene i hate putting it at number seven but again we're gonna get to some other ones i think we're a little stronger for them but also this was a cute scene between them so definitely top 10 for sure. So number six. So mine is the Tarlos, um, like when they're talking at the dinner table, that talk they had in 313. Mm-hmm. This is another one, obviously more recent, that like I really like it, but it's like serious stuff and it's like them having like a real conversation, but there's things I just love a little bit more and uh, but it's still great it still Mm. was very like important and very like just just it was needed right it was a rawness that we don't often see with them yeah um me so for mine it was the tarlos makeup scene in 204 um ej mentioned it earlier the friends with benefits one Mm -hmm. Um, I just loved the recommitment to their relationship. It felt like a recommitment. Mm-hmm. Um, how TK was, he, he wasn't going to be scared off that easily. Right. <laughs> like, uh, and he was willing to, you know, understand that Carlos was coming from a slightly different place than him. And so it was just, it was a really great scene between them. I love it. That's why it's here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. For mine, I actually, um, the darts scene in 103 mm, is where I play, what I placed one. here. Um, again, I am really surprised. I think, I think I might be the only one with this on our list. I wish I had that on my list. That was the one I saw <laughs> and I was like, damn, I don't have that on my list. It must have been like my five or something. Yeah. I mean, or even I, my yeah. four. <laughs> yeah. Again. And so since we're doing this as you know, our top three from our other ones, there are going to be a couple that are different. And so this is, I guess, one of those. Um, I just really love the scene. TK was struggling. Carlos was like kind of flirting with them. They're definitely new into their relationship, kind of going and figuring out if they're more than just boyfriends or if they're just friends with benefits or hookups. Um, the, you know, 
you know, you know, I'm holding a dart. I'm packing a piece. Oh, I'm that's packing hot. Piece. <laughs> oh, I mean, come so on. Good. So, so, so good. good. Still so good. So, so good. Um, yeah. So I really like this scene. It's, it's a great one. Um, I'm really glad I got to put it in somewhere here. Um, again, I think this is one. There was a couple that I put in here, like I'd made my list and then I had to redo it a couple of times because I'm like, wait, no, I like that one better. Wait, no, I like that one better. And I think I've <laughs> said it in every ranking we've done that, like, ask us tomorrow and it'll probably be different. So <laughs> this may be one of those two. All right. So yeah. top five. So number five. Man. So mine's um, Carlos running to TK after the whole plane situation in 308. Uh, mm-hmm. this was just such a good scene when I saw this yes. on my list I was like oh I forgot about this but like it's so good you can't like do it disservice and like put it lower so it's like right. okay it's gonna be in the top five and I was like okay five's like a good place like it was like sort of like it was like a big moment but also not like a huge moment so like for mm-hmm. me I was like okay this is just where it's gonna be and it's just such a great moment and I'm just like I just love Carlos running into TK's arms like mm, yes, yes. <laughs> so sweet mm-hmm. we haven't gotten to mm-hmm. see that much so yes. yeah exactly that's why it's I so love great it. so for me mine was actually the same scene um so Carlos from TK it's just it's gold it's just a little it gold is. mine of a of a moment because it's not after some like it's not after some hugely grievous injury or anything but it is a is a after a moment of suspense of worry right more than a moment uh, <laughs> in yeah. scene, but right. uh, like it's a real it's a really important it's just great to see how this is carried out. Um, and it's just, you know, it melts, it melts my Carlos heart. Yeah, it's really <laughs> good. And it's one of the more recent really good scenes we've gotten. Not that we haven't gotten scenes mm-hmm. all along, but yeah. Um, so for my number five is actually the police station in 103. Uh, that, I know that was Ronan and Rafa's like screen test for chemistry read. And just the meaning behind it makes it want to be there on top five but also just the scene itself carlos was learning a lot about Mm -hmm. tk was learning you know he was kind of in the wrong in some ways but tk was also struggling with stuff but carlos still wanted to help him the dabbing you know his lip with the tissue all these different little things i love it we haven't really gotten a lot of that since i we, we have in some ways but in other ways we haven't so i'm just I really liked it. I know it's a monumental Tarlow scene and I hate to say it, but I'm thinking there may be some in the future that could, you know, outrank some of these, but for now, this is where mm. it is. And number four for you guys is. So mine's actually the same scene. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I'm like, yeah, we haven't gotten something like this in a while, but I think that just shows that like Tarlos has like changed a lot since Mm -hmm. then and obviously their relationship has changed a lot since then but it's still such a great scene and when I saw this I was like okay where am I gonna put this and it's just such a great scene like I want to like honestly talking about this right now I want to go back and just watch the scene oh yeah yeah like a lot (laughs) and I don't know it's just such a great like emotion based just great scene Mm -hmm. great I wonder what mine is (laughs) <laughs> uh, <laughs> what? that's why i like zoomed into it the way i did <laughs> right uh yeah mine's the police station scene too it's just it's it's a classic scene at this point classic mm. monumental scene for them uh got gotta love it it's it is really just such a turning point it's kind of one of those moments where you realize you're starting to unlearn some misconceptions you had about the other person. Mm-hmm. And everybody has those times in relationships, friendships, that kind of thing. So it's just, it, it's a really priceless right. scene, even though this was not the scene we needed to see TK and handcuffs in, but uh, maybe they'll have that in another <laughs> scenario at some point. <laughs> I'm not even gonna touch that one. <laughs> Maybe one could hope. <laughs> one could hope. <laughs> one could hope. I Listen, I have to round up after after dark. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Every sorry. episode is an after dark in my mind. <laughs> um, so I uh, rocked the boat in my number four and changed it up a little bit. Uh, since I did the police station yeah. scene last, 
I guess I flip flopped my four and five um, from you guys. And I did the Carlos running to TK after the whole plane debacle in 308. Again, amazing scene. You know, Carlos emotionally, definitely like distraught, nervous, scared, worried for TK, having been able to like helplessly watching on TV and outside what's going on with the plane and not knowing if he'd ever see TK again. Um, and then him fussing over TK when he saw the blood on TK's shirt and TK's like assuring him it's, you know, it's not my blood. It's not my blood. And for once TK gets out of there on um, uh, a situation unscathed, <laughs> praise God <laughs> you know, at some point, you know? Um, yeah. I, I love it again. Top four. I'm excited to talk about our top three. So number three. So mine is the Tarlos car scene from 110. Okay, to this day, this is still like one of my favorite scenes. So for me, like nothing has changed. It's still like very much a top favorite. Like it is the it scene. Like it is still the it scene. Like I think if you think of Tarlos, if anybody didn't know Tarlos, like if somebody that didn't watch the show, I'm sure they would be like, oh, that scene. (laughs) <laughs> I feel like that would be the the consensus. Really? And, yeah, honestly. Um, and I just I still love it. It's just such a good scene. Like, oh, just everything around it. Mm-hmm. So, um, mine is actually another one that you guys don't have on this. It's actually TK waking up in the hospital. Um, what was it? Two four. Uh, two oh eight. 308 wait 108 was it season one no three three oh four oh well there was so many i was like there was a lot there was a lot there was a man was Uh, in the hospital (laughs) like which one (laughs) that's why i was like what are you talking about he he literally has a season pass to the 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 icu um oh my gosh yes Uh, jk waking up in a hospital 304 uh, so after his coma, after their bullshit breakup, uh, that moment is just, it, it's, it's special. It's, it's kind of that moment where, you know, they, they still need to talk. They aren't actually officially back together yet. Right. But it's like, uh, hey, baby, breathe, because Carlos wasn't freaking breathing. Right. <laughs> and then they just, Carlos just kind of crumples on top of him and they're holding mm-hmm. each other and ah! okay that now i need to crumble setting yeah literally, <laughs> literally. it's okay. literally just such a sweet it is um, it is i love that scene i, I might kind of bummed i didn't get to put it on the list somehow but <laughs> yeah. yeah same um my it must have been in my i mean it would have been in my top five or six for sure in that season so oh yeah um so for my number three, I actually said the uh, when TK comforts Carlos after the fire in two twelve, I it, it's it's rare like to see Carlos break down. We know he's kind of an emotional person, but to see him so broken and hurt and scared and just in shock, and then TK just kind of turning to him and just like, "Are you okay?" and hugging him. It was really good. It was nice to see those sweet moments in such rough times and you know we've seen they've obviously after the <clears throat> time that shall not be named <clears throat> <laughs> that we didn't get to see uh, uh just referenced um it's uh yeah it's, it's good i think they've grown a lot since then and i think it probably may be one of those few that might float up and down for me with the where I would rank it but this ranking definitely top three so so number two so mine's actually the same scene after the fire this is just like my three and two like could switch but honestly where I have everything is actually like permanent for me I think okay um but the scene like oh the emotion like just like the after fire when carlos starts crying i'm just like okay take my heart because that's where my heart my heart sinks like carlos cries i cry uh, yes <laughs> so yeah and pretty it's just, much yeah, and it's like the emotion we need especially after this whole situation and 
oh it's just like there's like a few scenes where like i could literally have like you could literally tell me no give me no context and be like what are your favorites and i'd be like this uh because yeah that definitely hits that list and yes. i just i love it agreed yeah. well mine's same <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, shocker there <laughs> yes shocker <laughs> um yeah this ah oh, man i mean when the carlos cow eyes turn into the crying carlos cow eyes carlos sad eyes <laughs> yeah <laughs> carlos sad eyes um and it's it's just such an emotionally charged scene it's oh i i love seeing tk get to reassure carlos for once like that's something really special i don't know it's it's pretty it's pretty firmly i think in the top three for now like i'm really i just love that scene so much right oh yes um since i did something different i'm actually i agree with katie with the whole like top two three are kind of like stuck um my number two is well okay so far is the car scene in 110 uh i love that we make a pretty good team we really do i love it i love it. it's a great like it's the start of an amazing relationship between them. We got, you know, and it led us to a whole season two of them being together and mm. uh, which was awesome. And it's just kind of a special moment that, I mean, w- when in Texas are they ever going to get to see the Northern lights again? Like really like, mm-hmm. so it was a cool, you know, just and cool for that <laughs> aspect as well. Um, yeah. So that's why I stuck it there. I, this one probably will definitely go down a little bit when we get what we know we're getting in season four, but mm-hmm. it is yet to be seen. <laughs> so, um, yeah. But uh, what's our uh, what's our <laughs> number one? <laughs> yeah, I think it's yeah, safe I to wonder say. If anyone can list, like guess. Like, should we mm, give you guys so a few hard. seconds? <laughs> yeah, should we give you a hint? Just take a second. <laughs> and it's the most uh. recent Tarlo scene. Mm-hmm. Today, <laughs> yeah. Um, the yeah, you probably scene. guessed it. Proposal. The proposal. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. So obviously, it's number one for obvious reasons. But like, uh, yes, it's just funny because mm, the first scene that never happened. Like, I think my three would become my one, or honestly, three and two could become my one because I don't know what I would have done, but. I just obviously it's a proposal proposal and it's obviously something we've been wanting for forever it's funny because I just was today like seeing videos from like 2021 where I was like oh I don't know if it'll happen anytime soon right? <laughs> let alone season three <laughs> happen yeah like, I was like maybe season three maybe season four and here we are yeah. and then all the speculation on who's gonna propose I remember, like, the 50-50, everybody was like, oh, it's going to be Carlos. Oh, it's going to be TK. Well, TK's not going to do it because he already tried to do it without. Da, 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 da. Yeah, so, like, it just, definitely yeah. made sense how it happened. Yes, it did. And stuff. And, like, I know, I was even still 50-50. Like, it definitely didn't pan out how I was expecting. But I loved how it panned out. And it was just the fact that it was so low-key, so casual, just, like, right. so random. And I think that's why it was so shocking because none of us could have imagined that that would have happened, especially how it did. And Mm, it's just like, it's great. It's like, it's definitely one for the books. Yeah. Yeah. Grace, do you have anything to say about it? (laughs) I don't have much more to add, honestly. Um, Like, I feel like it's been encapsulated perfectly within that. Yeah. It's just everything we could want in the exact not way we could expect it uh but i'm i'm actually glad it didn't really happen the way any of us would have chosen like it the way it happened was very much them yeah wake mm-hmm. up in the middle of yeah. the night because mm-hmm. you've been overthinking something right <laughs> um, carlos literally does not know half the time if he is awake or not so that was <laughs> <laughs> that was probably one of the best parts of our being honest right He's like, and what is going on? Just, you know, to add all, you know, to that is, you know, TK's waking Carlos up. So Carlos first freaks out about, is there a lizard? Do you <laughs> There's a smoke? lizard back? 
Is the lizard back? <laughs> Do you smell smoke? I could oh literally, like, that man has trauma. <laughs> he that does. man does have some trauma. <laughs> oh, man. And the fan fiction that people have come up with with strays, <laughs> T- TK bringing more strays home. Oh, my That's God. So I- hilarious. That is so funny. Like, that is like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, I love this scene. I It's totally something casual, down to earth. They don't, it's, it's proving that neither one of them needs a huge to do just to share their life together. And they're already living together. And I, and I, mm. I know people are kind of like not fans of Owen, but Owen told TK in the beginning when he was considering and proposing to the other guy, live with him first. And so I just kind of, I'm like, well, now he's living with Carlos first and now they're getting engaged and doing life together. And I'm excited to see where that goes. I'm excited for what is going to come. And once we get an I do, I'm thinking that will be number one and this will probably be number two. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> well, there you have it. There's our top nine which was three from each season. A few different ones, most of them the same, just in a different spot. So let us know what yours are. Are there any of them that you guys think we should have had on here? Are there any of them that we had on here that you wouldn't have had on here? Let us know. Oh, yeah, that's very interesting. And I definitely think like in the future, we should do one with categories. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and like come up with it together. So like plan it ahead of time. Mm-hmm. And like, because it'd be mm-hmm. fun to like look at all the scenes and then put them in different categories. Because I can think of like most tearjerker or like just random ones <laughs> yes that's mm-hmm. a good idea so stay tuned for those i know in the yeah. future we've got like lone stars coming back really soon so we'll be getting back to our regularly scheduled i'm so excited episodes. For that. yes me too and i'm excited is- next week to do like the theories and like yes. talk about the promos talk about everything because we've been sitting on this for so forget right. long right and i I'm trying to remember the last our last two episodes because I when we recorded those I was sicker than a dog. Oh and, yeah. And I was <laughs> like felt that. I probably sounded terrible but I'm like I got I made it through. I made it through. So I'm like I'm really excited to get back. Like I'm super stoked for this episode. I mean I love talking Carlos. So I'm all for that. And then next week and then man, Lone Star will be back. We waited some time for this. Nervous, but I'm excited. And the promo photos yeah we've gotten our like pretty cool yeah i'm not like mm-hmm. nervous at all just because literally like they haven't really dropped any bombs of like that's true bad things i mean there were a few interviews where i'm like what the hell does this mean right mm. but i don't know i'm excited Same. it's gonna be a fun season it is season four mm. I'm excited we've got four seasons now Mm, have we got? I know. Have we gotten a an announcement of how many episodes is going to be? Is it going to be their eighteen again? Oh yeah, that's like standard. They're standard cool. at least. Good. Good. We get a full full season. Thank you guys so much for joining and listening. Be sure to subscribe to the podcast on Anchor. We're also on Spotify, Apple, and Google Podcasts, YouTube, and everywhere you get your podcast. On iTunes and Spotify, please rate us and leave us a review. It means a lot to us. You can also follow the podcasts on our socials at 911LS Roundup on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and now TikTok. You can join our Discord server. The link is in the description of the podcast and also in our Instagram bio. You guys, follow me, Katie, at Full of Tarlos on Instagram and TikTok. You guys can follow me, Grace, at Brendan Matha 911 on Instagram and at CheapGirl31 on Twitter. You can follow me, EJ, at EJ8302 on Instagram and Twitter. Bye. Bye. Bye.